episodes and subscribers. I'm Jason, your host, and we have our guest today, Brittany Sterling. Brittany, how are you? Good. Now, Brittany, have you ever seen our show before? No. Have you ever heard our show before? Yes. What do you know about our show? That we get two words and we have to choose one of the two words, but we talk about both words. Oh, she really knows what's up with the show. So we're going to throw a curveball. I'm actually going to make up another word. No, I'm just kidding. We actually we just got our words in. Um, Brittany, tell me a little bit about yourself. What do, you, what do you do when you're not here, obviously, being awesome on the show? I work at a place called Beyond Vision. We do manufacturing stuff for places like Briggs & Stratton, Harley-Davidson, and most people at that place are illegally blind or visually impaired. Okay. And what kind of stuff? Do, what do you guys? What do you? What do you make? What do you we make do a lot of gasket kits or tool kits. Oh, cool! You like it? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. How long have you been doing that? Just over a year. All right. All right. So well, let's go ahead. We, we talk about the premise, and let's um, let's get to the words. You ready? I'm. Yeah. I'm ready. Something that we're doing a little bit different, um, just because it's more fun, is I don't. None of us know what the words are. We even right now, I still don't know what the words are. We're talking. We don't know. But I heard the ding, so I'll check. Let's see, let's see, what, we're, see what we're working with. Uh, no, that's something about picking up groceries. <laughs> I have glasses on. I still can't. Oh, there we go. Uh, all right. So here. I do. I'll get groceries. Don't worry, dear. Okay. <laughs> so our words are same and cake. I will go with cake. All right, you jumped right into cake and away from same. Why? Why did you? Why did you not choose same? Same. A lot of like same would be like if someone or two people had like a pair of or or wearing the same outfit or the pair of eights in a deck or it would be basically the same thing. So and, you, because it's the same thing, you didn't want to talk about same. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. No, that works. You know, if you talk about the same thing all the time, it gets to be a bit boring, doesn't it? Yep. <laughs> I know that, uh, well, and it's wearing the same outfit. We almost wore the same outfit today, um, but not really. Um, so there's there's that as well. So cake, uh, same, same so boring. Let's, yeah, let's just jump right into cake, because I don't even, it's an answer to a lot of things though, isn't it? Yeah. Same. They're... You want to get it? Yeah, same, same to you. No. But compared to cake, there's so many different types of cake. There's <laughs> cheesecake, there's chocolate, there's ice cream cakes there's so many different kinds and you could actually choose which one you want instead of having the same thing over and over i like where you went with that very nice tie-in too with both the words so what's your favorite cake then Brittany? i have to go with cheesecake cheesecake okay now we've docked into a whole different realm cheesecakes is something i know a little bit about my uh my girlfriend is a cheesecake aficionado so she makes a lot of it. it's almost like a self-defense i think with the cake like she will just cake oh everything's better i love it she does she's very yeah so what's your favorite cheesecake i just had to the, the basic cheesecake i like it yeah just regular cheesecake yeah okay why why just a regular cheesecake i don't know it just tastes really good and a lot of times that's what i pick up when i go to the store if i want cheesecake or okay so for me my favorite cheesecake if you'd like to know is whichever yeah. one i'm currently eating <laughs> um, that's usually a good way to go with it, but it is not, however, my favorite cake, because as you mentioned, there are several di different types. So you have cheesecake is your favorite, and you like the standard New York vanilla creamy deliciousness. Yeah. Okay. If you didn't have cheesecake for the rest of your life, what cake are you eating next? I'd have to go with an Oreo ice cream cake. An Oreo ice cream cake. Now you've mentioned a couple things there that I really like. Okay, you've mentioned everything that I really like, Oreos, ice cream, and cake. <laughs> Let's talk about the Oreos for just a second, because that's what makes it makes or breaks a good ice cream cake. Do you have a, because like cake, Oreo has about a bazillion flavors. Yeah. Do you have a particular Oreo that you, I'd have to go your go-to? The chocolate double stuffed. Chocolate double, double stuffed. Now, why do you choose double stuffed over just like regular stuffed or cream, uh, the different flavors like peanut butter and jelly or... <laughs> I have usually when we pick them up, we get the double stuff and make them. It tastes really good. Okay, so now are you like all Americans that eat Oreos, and not just Americans, people in general? Everyone has a technique for eating their Oreos. What's your Oreo eating technique? Just eat it all. Just 
just cram the whole thing in your mouth and be done. Just, <laughs> just, and I imagine how messy that is in my head. I just saw Cookie Monster shoving cookies into the face and eating them and going like that. So you just eat them whole. You don't dip them in no. milk or separate. No, or, but I eat them whole. Eat them whole. All right, all right. I'm a little bit different in that way as well. I uh, my favorite Oreo is Mega Stuff. Are you familiar with Mega Stuff? Yeah. <laughs> it is the ultimate Oreo in my opinion. And the best way to eat it is you have to separate them. Yeah, I take my cookies, I put them to the side. I take the, the mega stuff deliciousness, I put that to the side. I have a big old glass of milk. I dip all my cookies in the milk first. And then I have all the shortening, <laughs> I can feel my arteries clogging right now as I'm talking good. about this. It is amazing. So if you had that in a cake, I think that I'd really want the cookies in an ice cream cake. And then the whatever that stuff is they put in the middle on top. I'm a, I'm a chef and you think I know what that was, but I think it's just shortening <laughs> with sugar in it. Delicious. Yeah. Okay, so we got Oreo cakes. What else do you like about cake? Birthdays, they're good for Birthdays celebrating, right? Birthdays or sometimes anniversaries or weddings. So they're very versatile. Yeah. So as far as desserts go, they're a great way to go. Desserts, you have weddings, you have funerals, you have birthdays, yep. anniversaries. Special occasions. Special occasions, absolutely. I don't think there's any reason that you can't not give a cake to someone. No. <laughs> I mean, hey, you just got fired, here, have a cake. It'll cheer you up. <laughs> hey, you just got hired, have a cake. It'll keep you at your job longer, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I, my favorite my favorite cake is Jell-O cake. Now, are you familiar with Jell-O cake at all? No. Okay, it's the best cake in the entire world. I don't, I've, you just heard it here, best cake ever. Simple. You take a white cake, bake it. When it comes out of the oven, you poke a bunch of holes in it. You take your favorite Jello, you pour it over the top of the cake. It fills it in. You put it back in the refrigerator, and of course, then it gets the jellified, if you will. And it is the most moist cake. And then you cover it with Cool Whip. It was my groom's cake when I got married. This is how much I love this cake. And if you haven't tried it at home, well, for those of you who haven't lived, go out and try it as soon as you can. Seriously, it's super good. So it's good for occasions. Yes. You like it. Do you eat cake? How often do you eat cake? I'd say about once a month. Once a month? Yeah. That's a, that's, I like that. Once a month is a, I think that's a good goal to have. Is there anything you don't like about cake? Not really. It's just something really sweet and sometimes it just covers that craving. Do you ever worry that it's a fire hazard, especially if you go to a birthday party where someone's like 90 years old and they feel the need to put all of those candles on top of the cake and light them? Does that ever make you nervous that there might be like a spontaneous fire breakout? Sometimes, but most of the time when that happens, there's someone there that's able to see a whole lot better. Oh, that sure. Because as you get older, your vision and hearing do go. That's true. My that's... great grandmother, we had her 99th and 100th and birthday. And she passed away a day before she turned 101, but she would always love cake. Well, do you think maybe that was one of the secrets to her longevity? Yeah. The, the love of cake? Yeah. I think that's I think that's a, a good thing to bring up. If you, especially nowadays, you see everyone trying to diet and eat healthy and whatever else, but I think the people that really live the longest are the ones that enjoy what they do. Yeah. Well, cool. Thanks for coming on our show. Thanks for having Hope me. Hope you had a good time. If you liked our show, go to uh, one... No, that's not right. Let me think this through again. My brain sometimes skips. It went through the tunnel. Ah, hey, thanks for watching us. There we go. I knew I was saying something right. If you want to subscribe on YouTube, hit that little bell. Get the notifications. If you don't want to subscribe on YouTube, do it anyway because your dad said so. <laughs> I'm not your daddy, though, okay? Um, we also, if you want old episodes, you can go to onewordshow.com or you can also follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash onewordshow. And if you didn't like the show, well, that's on you. Until next time, we'll see ya.